Jesus freak here. I've noticed something. Ever since the church managed to establish itself, you stopped seeing martyrs. But then, about a thousand years later, they came back in force. I tend to believe that in the centuries between the establishment of the church and the time that it gained political power, it started to become corrupt. There was a seeking after power for power's sake because we're mortals, we're humans, we do that. In the West, less so than the East, there was a capitulation to local traditions. Both sides started to allow iconography in their churches. They started calling their leaders things that they shouldn't have been called. And over time, you know, the church became less and less Christian. The reason martyrs started to appear once again was because people started to realize what real Christianity was. And those with power didn't like that. So that's how you wound up with martyrs like John Wycliffe, Jan Hus, Martin Luther, Ulrich Zwingli. Now, I'm not sure most or all of those are martyrs, but, you know, they, they were hated because they dared to say that the scripture was more important than the traditions of the church. They, they weren't trying to create something new. They were trying to fix what already existed. Some of them did think that wasn't possible, like Zwingli. They figured, you know, we had to, you know, tear the whole thing down and start over. And maybe they were right. But they understood what those in power didn't want them to understand. And that the scripture was the most important thing. The Bible, not tradition, is our founding text. That has always been true. That should always be true. But when we forget that, we have a great apostasy. We went for probably a thousand years with very few actual believers because they didn't know. The truth was hidden from them. Technology has made that no longer the case.
technology sparked the Reformation in many cases. Technology has allowed us to go back to our roots. And I think that if an early 2nd century Christian were to go to a church and find themselves more at home in a Protestant church than a Catholic or Orthodox church, trust me on that. I'll stand by that. Jesus freak out. <laughs>